So, Jesus, my dad in hell. God damn. This happened to me when I was 10. Mm -hmm. I was sleeping in my room. Suddenly, the entire house started to shake with a huge crash, just like an earthquake. I was awakened with panic. Hey, I remember the first time I've ever felt an earthquake in real life. It was one time, and it was when I was living in Maryland. I was a teenager, um, and but it was like it was like um, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Maybe it's a, a shock wave. Maybe it's the aftershock. I don't know, but it wasn't the. I didn't. We didn't feel the 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 earthquake itself. Like I don't know how to explain it. Like it was the earthquake, and then it was some. It was some other like shaking shit after the earthquake. After the initial quaking. I don't know what it's called, but that's what we felt. And damn. My heart kind of like, and we didn't feel the initial quaking. Oh, it just looks weird. Okay, sorry. But yeah, that man, to feel to feel an earthquake, I'm sure it's got to like, that's an experience. A clock experience, but it's an experience. I was trembling with fear, thinking that was an earthquake. At that moment, I heard my dad scream in his room. I ran to his room right away and saw a mysterious being standing in front of him. God damn. It was as oh. enormous as it was about to break through the ceiling and my dad was absolutely overwhelmed with that horrible ambience. The horrifying creature talked. In five years, you will be dragged to hell. God. God. Damn. What would you, <laughs> what would y'all have done, or what would you do, if God forbid, you know, something like this ever happens to you, you know, some demonic looking thing tells you in five years you'd be sent to hell. Like, what do you? I mean, you going there regardless, so you, you know, you just. You only live once, right? You know, you know. Y'all old mother clockers. My ears just popped. That was weird. But would it be different though? Like what if what if you got told in five years um uh, you would be sent to heaven? And you believe that, like, in your gut, in your soul, 100%, you believe. There was a thing that stood right in front of you that said you would be, be sent to heaven in five years. But then, you know, would you act different if there was another thing that said you would be sent to hell in five years? Would you still act the same? Let me know in the comment section below. My dad cried and begged desperately on his knees. I don't know, I don't know what his, I don't know exactly what his dad did, but his dad was on some 100% clock shit. He was. No. Please, I beg you, I have a little boy. So? The being blustered in a threatening voice. You committed the unforgivable sin. You will burn in hell. God damn. Then it disappeared. My dad collapsed to the floor, devastated. Next day, he looked so grim and nervous. I was also frightened, but I didn't talk about what happened last night. After several days, we went back to our normal routines, as if we completely forgot about that day. Time passed away in an instant. And exactly five years later from that day, my dad vanished. God damn. The police handled it as a missing person case. 
They tried to track all his records and follow up on clues, but couldn't find anything. It has already been two years since his disappearance. His whereabouts is still unknown. But you know in where- the CCTV records, the police saw my dad leaving work by driving away in his car from the parking lot of the company building. Then, his car was found in a distant alley. Only his clothes remained in the driver's seat. As if somebody took his body away. My dad disappeared. And nobody could find him. I had prayed to God every single day since then. To find my dad. I swore I would do anything if I could see him at least once. Even if he couldn't come back to me just once, I would be fine. I prayed over and over asking if he was still alive and where he was. Every night I prayed and cried myself to sleep. And last night I had a dream. That mysterious being showed up again, and this time in front of me. It was the exact same one I saw years ago. He said to me, Come with me, if you want to see where your father is. He took my hand and brought me outside. Immediately after stepping outside, the environment... Hey, I would have said, you know, he, he, he would have said, you know, come with me if you want to see where your father is. And he grabbed me. But that tight ass grip, like you saw that tight ass grip he had on that kid. I would say, all right, I got you. I'm going with you. I, I'm good. You can get off me. Strong grip, head ass. Get off me. I'm good. I'm walking side by side with you. You do not need to grab me like that. <laughs> I mean, completely changed. It was hell. With boiling lava and sharp penetrating screams of millions of people. It was too hot, and I felt my body was burning in the fire. Because of ear-splitting cries and screams, I couldn't step forward anymore. And there, I saw my dad standing in the middle of hell. He stared at me with wide open eyes, not saying a word. Cried in the middle of chaos full of endless pain. He gazed at me with eyes filled with pain and agony. I wailed, calling him, but no matter how loud I shouted, he didn't answer. He was just gazing at me, suffering in enormous pain. The mysterious being standing next to me said, Your father killed an innocent person two years before you were born. That is the reason why he is here with me. In hell. I couldn't believe that. I started to run to my dad, but at that moment I awoke from my sleep. I was awake, but I still felt the sizzling heat all over my body, and it's pain. After that dream, I didn't look for him anymore, and I didn't pray anymore. I think it might just be a silly dream, but I can't forget that heat, those horrifying screams my dad's eyes because all of it seemed so real I, I bet it was I feel like my dad is in hell if you are interested in stories about hell I recommend you read the webtoon called Hellbound this is a very interesting webcomic about hell check out the link in the description below Hey man, like, all I gotta say about this is just ask your folks or your guardians or whoever's watching you or been watching you. You know, I don't know how you would go about asking this, but you know, just ask them, you know. What the hell was y'all niggas on before I was before I was here? What was y'all doing? Everything. What was y'all doing before before I got to where I am today? Before I got to this earth? Cause don't tell me everything was sunshine and lollipops. I know it wasn't. 
It's, a, it's life. Life goes up and down. It's a roller coaster. Come on, man. And if you tell me everything that I want to hear, I'll just go to, you know, to the authorities. Because I've been acting real sus lately. I'm not going to hold you. You know, just, you know, a little background check. That's never hurt nobody, right? I hope not. Keep it cold, keep it classy, and I love you. Stay happy. My family.